G'day mate, how you going? Welcome back for some more Green and Gold. Here we are at the in-laws place. So I thought I'd bring you up to date on the Sir Wally that we laid here about three or four weeks ago. So given that we installed this lawn uh, mid-May mid and it is now mid to early June, um, I'm pretty happy with the results. We do have some issues, we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so the Sir Wally's not looking too bad. So the reason we selected Sir Walter for this build was we have a, uh, a two-story structure here. So this dwelling is gonna cast a significant shadow to the south. And um, yeah, obviously we needed a, a turf variety that was gonna handle a little bit of shade. And uh, thus the Sir Walter. So um, yeah, like I mentioned before, pretty happy with the results. Let's jump down there and have a look, eh? Here we are down on ground zero, the business end of the turf. And as you can see, the Sir Wally's looking really good, eh? So we're on the western side of the house here at the moment. And this receives at least sort of six hours worth of sun per day, even in winter time. So she's not doing too bad. Um, we can see we've got about like a 75 mil height of cut and it just looks really lush. It's nice and soft and it's looking really good. But there are a few sections that are like this. It's quite perplexing. You know, it's, it's obviously one roll and uh, I don't really know why that is. What I might do is I might ask Lawn Solutions Australia or, or someone about why this is like this. But, you know, it just, it just seems a little bit chlorotic, like it's, it's missing some iron um, and it just looks dead and, and sort of thatchy and, and really gross. But look, I'm not stressed. Uh, it'll bounce back and look a treat. But yeah, it's, it's just funny how we can go through sections like this that are, that are really nice and lush and just looking really good. And then we get these real second hand sections here. So yeah, a little bit of a, little bit of a phenomenon, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Let's move on over here a little bit more, eh? So one thing I also noticed is a whole bunch of weed pressure. You'll start to see some oxalis um, coming in down there. Now, um, this lawn was supplied by Sunnyside Instant Lawns, and this is not indicative of the sod that they generally supply. So um, I, I think back to my Tiff Tuff that they supplied for me, and that was weed free, and it was for quite some time. So this is not typical for them, nor do I believe that this is their fault. So. Um, from my understanding, I'm not sure where the clean fill or the topsoil has been supplied for the build But to me, that's where the weed pressure is coming from. You can see it's all alongside the uh, little granny flat down there You can see it's down there and it's just and it's just obviously in the lawn in in some isolated sections So you'll see alongside the house there. There's none But we've got some over there. So um, So that's why I say um, Yeah, it's sort of coming from the topsoil and not, uh, and not from the lawn supply. Oh no, they're coming for me. <laughs> Here we are on the southern side of the house. And as you can see, it's actually holding in there pretty well, eh? Um, it has only been three or four weeks, so, and it is a little bit sleepy, but uh, we can see it's, it's still retaining color, which is rad. So we haven't had a lot of frost down here and uh, it hasn't really put it to sleep. There are sections down here you might be able to see that are a little bit black. They're, they're not looking real healthy, eh? They are pretty stressed, and that is due to low light conditions. So, so I'm thinking um, at least two meters off of the house, the first two, two and a half meters off the house is really gonna suffer. And uh, we've sort of, like I mentioned in the last vid, we're just gonna install it and see how it gets on. So, um, still relatively impressed with progress so far. However, if I do jump down there and start tugging at the sod, it will start to come up. So this has not rooted down yet. That is generally due to, yeah, lower light conditions. Um, it's not actively growing. So that is a lot more sleepy and it's not gonna be rooted down yet. So um, you will see up here, again, a lot more weed pressure. And that is due to, uh, that is due to the loam that was imported as a part of the build. So, um, if the in-laws are interested, we can use a selective herbicide to go through and knock out a whole bunch of that oxalis and um, meadow grass that seems to be in there, um, some kind of field grass. Um, we can knock that if they choose, so choose. Let's go and have a look out the front, eh? Here we are out in the front yard, and as you can see, it's coming up a million bucks, eh? Have a look at that. So this receives heaps of sunlight. Um, it's still, again, getting that six, seven hours a day worth of sunlight, even in winter time. So looking really healthy. You'll see Manfred's gone through and put in a, um, a nice uh, a brick, brick edge along there. And uh, 
really happy with progress out the front. So you will note, um, last time we were talking about what are we gonna do here to, to allow light through here. So we've actually landed on like one of those agricultural gates with, uh, with a whole bunch of wire on the inside of it. So that'll allow uh, light and air movement through there to try and help that, uh, to try and help that uh, grow up and, and become nice and strong. So we can um, now close the gate and keep pets and kids in the backyard. So really happy with that solution. Alrighty, so where to from here in terms of taking care of this bad boy? So it is a little bit sleepy. It hasn't gone full dormant, but it's not actively growing. So one thing we could consider if the outlaws so wish is to, uh, is to start considering soil amendments. So things like our humic and fulvic acids, we could get some of those down. Could look at some um, seaweed secrets as well and try and start conditioning the soil and start easing stress on the plant. So, um, and you may consider, I, I wouldn't, really, wouldn't really recommend it, a real micro dose, a spoon feed of nitrogen, but I think just taking care of the soil for the moment would be, um, would be the way to go. And we could consider maybe a selective herbicide to sort of start taking care of some of the weed issues. Um, yeah, but that's, that's up to the landowner, mate, not me. So um, I was considering on giving it a mow, but again, like I mentioned before, I don't think it's the right time, essentially because um, it hasn't quite fully established yet. So I would like to, I'd like to see it root down a whole lot better, especially around the back. And, um, and it's not actively growing. So, so we'll hold off on the mow, probably at least till sort of October time. Uh, let it get a bit of length into it, let it root down really well, and then we'll consider mowing it then. But at the moment, it'd be a little bit too early. So uh, there's the law, mate. I hope, you're, uh, I hope you're happy with the update. If there's any questions you might have, please drop them in the comments down below. But uh, what I might do is uh, catch in the shed in a little bit. Radio. All right, here we are back at the home away from home. I've got to go into the gym and hit leg day again. Contrary to belief, I actually do train legs. <laughs> um, but I've got a sticker here. This one comes from Rusty Inspirations. So Dylan and Janelle were uh, kind enough to send down a sticker for the wall. So I'm gonna uh, put it up here, probably alongside the Aussie lawn. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked man favor and take it easy. I'll chat you wrong.